entrepreneur. And I found my passion. It took a lot of trial and error to get closer and closer to what I'm supposed to do in the world. And I truly believe that my job is to connect people, to be in connection. I worked big time in the recovery movement, addicts of all kinds, food, pornography, booze, over shopping, checking out, excuse me, media, all forms of addiction, right? The opposite of addiction is in sobriety. The opposite of addiction is connection. There's a process to this, pal. And they sat and they taught us how to walk through the psychological process of breaking down people's limiting beliefs to allow them to see their future and that they're capable, scared typically, but they are capable and that we're surrounding them with support to make their passions happen. And we have been propagandized by our societal media, maybe it's an unintended consequence, that everything's outside of us. It's out there, don't go in. Although the, all the spiritual texts say what? The kingdom of heaven is where? Within, but don't look there. Go to church on Sunday, but don't look there. Don't do the work. Keep going out there, buying stuff, buying stuff, more, more, more. And every time you leave your house to pay that credit card debt and that mortgage and all the shit you don't need, you're walking away from the people that you are most precious and priceless to you, your children, your spouse, to go make that money. Grind, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. And people are dying. They're dying. Maybe not physically, but definitely spiritually. And that's not okay. So I don't want to turn this into like a, a Billy Graham event or a, well, maybe I do. <laughs> but I, but I, I think it's really important because I, would be, uh, I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't speak my absolute truth. I miss so much time with my kids. I miss so much of the juice of life, trying to be a baller. I'm not a Grant Cardone. I'm, a, I'm Troy. I tell you what, I have something to contribute. So, and I don't, you know, I don't grind. I flow. <laughs> Raised in construction. I used to play with Yoda dolls in the sand pile. My dad was a mason. And then like at seven, he had me shoveling that stuff into the mortar mixer. And you know, 500 bucks a week, week after week, drink some Budweiser, go ride motorcycles, you know, go to the mountains, come back and repeat, 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 repeat. And we'll get some credit card debt along the way. I don't know if you guys relate to that. <laughs> so when I saw that I could earn 5,000 bucks in a week, and I knew this process, I knew that things were changing. I'm not a big money guy. I'm a freedom guy, you know, right? And I, oh my God, I told, asked my dad, hey, do you really like construction? And I was serious, do you really like this? He's like, yeah, I love this. I said, dad, I don't. I don't, my soul is dying inside. These guys that I'm working around who talk about their old ladies and barning up, barning up means going to the bar after work, showing up the next morning and being called a roundhead by the masons who are the top dogs while they're puking off of the scaffolding because they're hung over. It's like, dad, this is going to kill me, man. <laughs> and so I have pursued all my life to become not just an entrepreneur. I truly believe that we are all artists. And I believe, I, so I call myself an artist entrepreneur. And I found my passion. It took a lot of trial and error to get closer and closer to what I'm supposed to do in the world. And I truly believe that my job is to connect people, to be in connection. I worked big time in the recovery movement, addicts of all kinds, food, pornography, booze, over shopping, checking out, excuse me, media, all forms of addiction, right? The opposite of addiction is in sobriety. The opposite of addiction is connection.